Okay, so this is a video tutorial part three and for creating a simple animation rig. All right. Last time I left off, I made the lattice and I described what it does and its use case, right? But that, but the issue is where in order for me to tweak the shape of it, right? I need to go in Carefully select this one right here, FFD1 lattice. Then I have to go and right click on it, choose lattice point, grab the lattice points carefully, then I can manipulate it. So it's not that uh, not that practical, right? I will need something where I can quickly, you know, grab its uh, selection, selection type even, and its selection component type in order to manipulate it. So uh, it's a bit much. This is where um, we have to make clusters and I'll describe what clusters are and their use case. So uh, you know, first let me just show how to make the cluster. So a cluster basically will allow you that instead of going through all that trouble, um, it will make a special selection just for these, okay? Just for these points on your lattice. That's what the cluster will do for us, all right? First things first, I need to select my lattice and that is specifically FFD1 lattice, okay? Not this, this, but this. D1. Right click on it, lattice point. Carefully select just those lattice points. If this were a trampoline, you would carefully select um, those lattice points. Alright. And then from there, we have to go into make sure you're still on animation menu set. Go to deform. You can look for cluster. All right, so deform cluster. This creates your cluster one handle. Here it is. See that C? That is your cluster. Cluster one handle. Okay, so we did that. We did this. I'm color it red. And I'll do that. Uh, so we select the top lattice points, create a cluster. Okay. And now I'm going to select the bottom lattice points and create another class, cluster. So, so select FFD1 lattice, right click on it, lattice point. Okay. Press 4, select the bottom only, press 5. Deform cluster. So I made my second cluster. Okay. Alright, so next. So me that. So you can grab this cluster and do this. You know, you can grab your bottom cluster and do that. See? So that's the purpose of the clusters. It basically allows you to grab, you know, the whatever object or deformer, modifier, and its components, right? And make a separate selection selection type, right? So those are your clusters. So that's how we did that. But it kind of sucks to just have to go in the outliner and specifically grab your clusters, you know? Because you have to zoom in and kind of grab it here but then you end up grabbing your geometry. But who wants to go consistently back into your outliner and grab those? This is where we need to make uh, nerve circles and uh, they will become your animation controller. So you can just, you know, grab things only in your 3D uh, viewport for your animation workflow. So let's do that. Let's go under curves 
make a nerve circle. There's your nerve circle. But it's a bit small. I'm going to press R. I'm going to scale it about, about this big. Like, uh, just make it like what? I don't know. 1.35, whatever. Something like that. And then, um, but I need to make three. So I made one. I'm going to do control D as in David. Control D as in David. Make another one. And I'm going to snap it to the middle. So I'm going to hold D as in Victor. D as in Victor, you hold it. I have my nerve circle two selected. I'm holding D as in Victor. And I have my up and down arrow uh, controllers, which is W. And I'm going to grab the top one. Snap it right in the middle, see? And then let go. But I'm going to make it bigger. This will be my center of gravity controller. So I have it selected. From the middle scale, press R for scale tool. The middle cube, I'm going to make it bigger. So we know what it is. Okay. There. Like that. Make sure it's bigger. Then I'm going to go back and select my nerve circle one. Do a control D as in David again. Right? Because I want it to be small, same size as uh, nerve circle one. I'm going to do hold D as in Victor. Right? I'm going to grab my up arrow here and snap it. Then let go. So there is that. So we're done with that. Now I need to freeze transformations for all of them. I'm going to grab all of them because they have data. See, whether it be your scale or whether it be the movement, there's data in here. And I need to prevent something called double transformations, which I talked about before. Select all of them. You go to modify, freeze transformations, and it blew out everything. That's clean, there's no data. Right. All right, next, I need to name them. Stretch controller, that's gonna be for your top one. It's gonna stretch up and down. So I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna select it. All right, I'm just copy and pasting. Stretch controller. I just named that. Bottom one, make sure you select it, right? You can double click on it and you just name it your squash controller for the bottom one. And, and the middle one right here, the big one, is your uh, main, main controller or your center of gravity controller, which I described in the ball anima animation tutorial that that's your main driver that drives the entire body, your center of gravity. It's reckon it's a universally used universally used and named as a COG controller, right? Okay, so that's that. We just named it. We placed it. Uh, we we um cleared up the his um transforms, right? Freeze transforms, okay. Alright, so we're good for that. So we do that. Alright, before I finish things finish things off, I added a couple of things. You're gonna create a display layer for your object mesh. You're gonna create a display layer for your lattice, FFD1 and you're going to set them to reference. So, I'm going to select my mesh. Okay. I'm going to click on this. Okay. Double click here. I'm going to name it uh, my asset geo. So geo stands for geometry. My asset is just the name of it. Hit save. 
Alright, I'm gonna set it to reference. Because I don't wanna accidentally select it. Oof. Alright. Then I'm gonna select my lattice, which will be him. See? FFD1. FFD1. Then I'm gonna select here. Press that icon. Alright. Double click on it. I'm gonna name it underscore let lattice. Save. I'm also gonna set that to reference so I don't grab accidentally grab it. Okay. Alright. And then yeah, we're done with that then. So that's ten minutes, you know, eleven minutes. Okay. Then I'm going to move on to uh, part four. All right, bye.